What? You're hungry? You're hungry? Hi, Beak. Good morning. We're just waiting for this guy over here. These two knuckleheads. Empty her out. Make it quick, boys. Looks like you're already done, actually. There's not much more in there. That's about it. There you go. I think you guys probably got enough. What's she got? Where's his brother at? What is he doing in there? You hungry? Oh. Are you hungry? Let's get you a meal. Buttercup, you gotta stick your head through there. Yep. You ladies get down. You ladies get down. You ladies get down. Get down, get down. They're drinking ya. What happened to my cup? There it is. How's that tasting, ladies? Oh, s'more. It's not for you. If you want some, you'll have to wait. <laughs> what does that look for? What does that look for, buddy? Hey, hey, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. You just, you know the rule. You know the deal. And still you break it every day. All right, who wants up? You're just gonna let him drink off of you? Like a kook? You're a kook. Oh, these two are sisters. This one's always been friendly. Oh. And this one, when we got her, it was not friendly. Pretty dang skittish. She warmed right up. Some more, please. You done? There's not any food in there. I really like when they look through this this hole right here to see if I'm getting them food. They kind of swing their head around, pull it back, and then they, they like to stick their eye right in that hole and they can look back and see what I'm doing. Cracks me up. That's it for you, bud. And that is it for you. Look at those happy ears. Happy ears. She's my buddy. Happy ears, huh? That's great. Yeah. Love the beard. Hey, Jazzy. What's going on? Now you can have all the treats you want, bud. No problem. You need some breakfast. You hungry, buddy? You come here. Oh, let's get you. Head on a swivel. There is so much milk in here you couldn't you couldn't drink it all. Oh s'more. Drink up. That's good, bud. Leave some for lunch. And that'll do it. We're done. Have a good morning, okay? <laughs> you guys are goofs. I've just kind of picked out three new little ladies. They are beautiful, but they are terrified. I doubt they'll let me get close enough to say hi. And I may end up just having to let them acclimate for a day or two. They're always pretty freaked out right out the gate. So it's gonna be my job to see what I can do about making them comfortable and happy. It's scary going to a new home. New people, new goats. We'll get you guys warmed up right quick, okay? They're about five months old. This is Hermione. She's gonna be about the same age as these guys. They are watching them. One, two, three. Why don't you guys just leave them alone and let them and just hang out in here in the shade? Oh, Tiana. You gotta come in swinging. Look at her hair all stood up. You're all right. You're all right. 
You guys are okay. You notice a trend here? The bigger one there in the back is the leader and she's actually the most skittish of the three. And so you get close and she takes off and then the other two follow. But this one here is really not, not all that unfriendly. And unfriendly is probably not the right word. It's their first day, so they're bound to be more skittish and unsure of what's going on. That was not for you. Not for you at all. You're ruining this. They're really cute. Cuties. Huh. Hi, oh, buddy. Yeah. Even let me touch you. That's great. That's great. She's the most friendly of the three. The other two still won't let me get my hands on them. But they do all the running away and then she follows. I think my first step is going to be to friendly her up. And then from that point, we'll move on to the other two. We've already made a little bit of progress. Well, they like grain, so that's a good deal. I did just have those two nibbling out of here as well, but they have since moved on. I've got this doofus coming over to scare them away. He just has no idea. Oh, Buckbeak, that's not for you. That's for our new ladies. You know, don't stand in it. They are cuties. <laughs> Come on back over. Hey, what do you think about that? Are we going to be buds now? If I come out and feed you grain every day, are you going to be my buddy? Yeah? You have some of that. You don't like that stuff, huh? Oh, we have a few different grain mixtures. This is actually two of the different grains mixed together, but one of them is not popular. And the other kind they love. What is going on in there? Alfalfa's also a hit, I just scared them off. They're afraid of me. She's the least afraid though, by a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if she'd let me walk up. Let's see. Nice and slow. Hey. You all right? Look at you. How's the alfalfa? Tasty? They'd rather be scared standing in the corner. Been hanging out with me, eating some alfalfa, having a good time. They were standoffish, but I've learned the secret. The secret to their heart. The key to their heart, the secret to their love. Oh, ladies, that's for you. Enjoy that. These two still won't let me really get my hands on them. Well, they will, but they don't like it. This one here, she's a cutie. And she does not mind being pet. Hi, oh, bud. Bud. Huh. Yeah. That's great. I'm glad you're enjoying the place. Pretty tasty, eh? They're definitely getting more acclimated and friendly. But you can smell my fingers. That's something she wouldn't do a few days ago. That'll do it. You can definitely expect to see these ladies again in the future. 
appreciate you joining us. Catch you next time. Put Julie down so I can scratch you proper. Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? That's nice.